I'm pleased to welcome uh, John, uh, Gretel, and Lewis uh, onto Jitsquips. Um, so Lewis is a uh, white belt, and who's, uh, you've just competed. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, John, Johnny, yeah. is uh, the head coach at Gracie Baja Rougely. Um, and then uh, Gretel is uh, an owner, one of the owners of the Kids gym. Kids coach as well. Kids coach, coach as well, yeah. so you are a coach. Yeah. Um, what belt are you guys? So I'm a blue. Blue belt? I'm a brown. And obviously I'm a white. Blue belt, brown belt, white belt. Okay, excellent. Um, so thanks for coming and thanks for agreeing to uh, chat for us. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks for having us. Good. Um, so Lewis, you've just competed. Yeah, yeah. And it's your second tournament, you said? Yeah, I wouldn't really class that like, last week as a tournament. He's like an interclub. He's yeah, getting yeah. interclub, and it was his first sort of dip in the toe in the water, which I think is always a really good way to start rather than, I mean, you look at the atmosphere in there, it can be a bit intimidating, can't it? Yeah. So we always try and get people to, we've got a friend, Immortal um, MMA Academy in Tamworth, and he runs like little sub submission only ones. Okay. And there's like say 30 matches throughout the day. Yeah. And it's just white and blue belts. It's just a good way to get them going. And he did that. So you, uh, had, you had a match there. Yeah. Two yeah. matches. Two matches. two matches. Two matches. Yeah, yeah. What were what were the two matches? So, first one, like, against the white belt. And then I just basically I was like a deer in the headlights, innit? it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I didn't yeah. know. Like I got up there thinking, yeah, I'm the big man, but. Yeah. Obviously, I, I you won. are the big man. <laughs> you are the big man. <laughs> but obviously, it's just as soon as the match started, I just forgot everything that was going on. Yeah. And like, I pulled guard because that's like my go-to move. Yeah. And then um, I just got put in a headlock, and like it was that di disorientating. Yeah. That I didn't like know which way I was facing. Uh huh. Yeah. Your head was turned the opposite way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, the, guy had him in, the guy had him in like a bulldog <laughs> choke, and Louis being the toughest, can I swear? Yeah. Little bastard ever. Uh, um, you didn't know what I was going to say then, did you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what route is going down? Uh, and he had him in like a bulldog choke, and Louis's head was like, I was going to try and stop the match. I was looking for uh, like yeah? a towel, and like, what's going on? And uh, yeah, his head got turned the opposite way, still didn't tap. And and then, yeah, yeah, but I could still, I could still breathe. Mate, so I would have tapped. One hundred percent, I would have tapped. You can still breathe when your neck snaps. Like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's an owl. He's just like looking the other way. Like. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so, and then you, you did really good in the second match. Didn't yeah, you? yeah. He got mounted and he kept getting his half guard back. And you know, obviously we have to work his jiu jitsu slightly different because he's got a disability with his right arm. Mm -hmm. So we just have to work to it and did amazing doing that, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Um, so the the first match, have you got footage of that? Um, I think yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd yeah. love to run the yeah. footage yeah, over there. It's actually on that Immortal. I'm big, big enough more than my own. Marie has got some, hasn't she? Yeah, she's yeah, got yeah. it, but yeah. there is also a, a YouTube video that's just come out, and he's two matches both on there, not 4K, so... Okay. I'm sure if you messaged him, he could uh, yeah. sort right, it. We'll if sort not, that. we've got probably not as good footage, but, you know, footage nonetheless. We'll sort that out. Um, <coughs> so, so for this tournament, like... Uh, so it's not an interclub, it's a, it's a yeah, tournament, tournament with the, yeah. um, with the stages, yeah. with the brackets. Um, you, you lost both matches, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, so both matches on, of the first match, of both ma you got subbed both times. Yeah, yeah. Armbar? Armbar the first one and then like, the second one, I, I, just gave, I just gave him my back. And then gave you back and it was a rear naked yeah, joke. Yeah. You defended the collar yeah. and then he went rear naked then, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. Um, but again, the, the, the first match, the takeaways, the guy did a really good job of keeping his feet under your butt and you were struggling uh, to get your butt back into a position where you could have got a half guard, which is what we tend to work with you, isn't it? Yeah, From yeah. the mount, either trap and roll. Uh, the guy did a really good job, to be fair to him. Um, of controlling in the mount. Very good. Yeah, yeah I'll give him that. Sam Sam, that is... Uh, He's one of these lads. And then the second match, did awesome. Almost passed the guy's guard. And yeah. As I'm sure you'll see on the footage. But yeah. Yeah. really yeah. proud of him. Yeah. Amazing. We've, we've got that footage, so we'll, we'll run it over yeah, the top yeah. as well. Um, but you, uh, you were saying before that you, you know, you're, you're disappointed. Yeah, I am disappointed, but I was like, really like, it's like a bittersweet feeling now. Yeah. Like, it's like, good that I got up there, but it's bad that I couldn't like, execute. 
mm-hmm. like the moves that I've been doing for the past. How long have I been trying to know? Fair few minutes in it. Yeah, yeah. So I at least it's minutes. bittersweet, right? Yeah, you yeah. can you can get um, uh, a sweet feeling out of the fact that you competed, but yeah. of course the, the W would. Uh, the W's, the gold would be yeah. nice, right? Yeah. Even even the bronze would have been nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but you've done it. You've yeah. competed. And um, so I wanted to um, say, uh, you said that you have to change up um, some of your jiu-jitsu because of your arm, did you say? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like, obviously, when I was seven, I had a stroke. And like, it just left me with, like, I can't <coughs> use my right arm. My right leg properly. Okay. So it's not. Do you have Do you have some uh, use of it? I have lot like, some use of it, but not like, not really powerful enough to like, you know use in a competition. Maybe inspiring, but you can't use it to frame. Yeah. Um, it's hard to bump off the one leg. So what we work on is stuff like guillotines, whereas it can be used as like a rope. Then. Yeah. Okay, Do you know okay. what I mean? In yeah. that position, like you've got a wicked guillotine, yeah. loop chokes. It's good for because you can just throw the the weaker arm on top. Yeah. Um, it's why we focus a lot on like half guard and stuff because it's a one-sided game, isn't it? Really, you, this one you don't really need to use as much as this one. So we frame off the face. I'm giving his. If anyone watches this and they're matching him, I haven't said this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we no, frame off what, the face. What, we what, <laughs> you want the opponents to know yeah, what yeah. he's gonna do. We don't and really do this. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know. Um, but, but it's still so good that they can't do anything about it. Exactly, right? yeah. exactly. Um, and we, we focus on different things to what we would with everyone else. And I'm, I'll, I'll stop giving you game right now. But yeah. we do work a lot on framing with that the strong arm. And you wouldn't believe how strong that left yeah, arm is. Because he's only used that one arm for like everything, if you think about it. Yeah. It's, it's it gets that power. grip. It's uh-huh. a superpower, yeah. He, he grabs the grip on your cross collar. You have to, I mean, like, you know, I've been training a long time and I have to really think about it, like, you know, I couldn't pass, he would, he would get a joke or something. Um, and you're a, you're a gi player? Yeah, yeah. He yeah. does both, but he is, I think, a lot better in the gi because it's a tool, isn't it? Yeah. If you think in the no gi, it's a lot more scrambly and, you know, he's really good at using that cross collar and we'll develop that, you know, and by the time the next comp comes around, it'll be, it'll be different again and we'll just... With all my students, we're just honing their individual skills. I teach techniques and then I'll come round and if it doesn't work for their body type, like you get people that are taller, maybe they won't play a similar game to me. I'm like six foot almost. Um, so I do try and change it for everyone and you know, mm-hmm. and obviously Lewis has got his, his uh, disabilities, but I don't want it to stop them, if that makes sense. I don't want people to think, I can't do this sport because I've got an issue with my hand or my heart, or, you know, my leg. Yeah. You can have a go. Yeah. There's certain things you can do. Uh-huh. You know, you might not win the Mundials, but you know, Jean Jacques Machado did the ADCC a few times, didn't he, with one hand? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Sam, Sam Kay as well, isn't there? Yeah, He's got yeah. one arm. We look at all these people and what they're doing. So, yeah. So, what are your aspirations for jiu-jitsu? ADCC final. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's go. No, I've, I've actually got a few aspirations. So, look, obviously, I want to progress to a level where I can open like, my own academy okay. or like, you know, te- or teach at an academy mm-hmm. and like, my main aspiration is to like, open um, like, a charity or an organisation mm-hmm. that gets you know, disabled people like myself into you know, any sport, not just jiu-jitsu, yeah. maybe football, you know, maybe basketball. So, um, did you do sports before you did jiu-jitsu? Yeah, yeah, I did. I did football, and I played at a pretty high. Well, I say I played at a pretty high level. It was only not tournaments and that. Mm-hmm. But um, I used put it to it down. <laughs> I used to play cerebral palsy football, mm-hmm. and then I played at St George's Park. It was like the national finals or mm-hmm. whatever. And there's a funny story about it. So, um, I got to the final. Of the well, my, my team got to the final of this tournament at St George's, and then we took we took our opponents to penalties, and then I stepped up to take the last penalty and missed it. Skied it. Skied it. But um, but yeah, it's just that like the help was there for me, but it was you know difficult to find. You had to get go out of your way. 
to find like the help to get into sports. Uh -huh. So I just want to make I just want to you know make it more accessible. Yeah, I hear you. That's that's cool, man. Yeah. Um, so you want to make it more accessible. So now you've found jujitsu. Yeah. <clears throat> that's the passion. Yeah. Football's to the wayside. No, I, I still play a lot of six or solid. Uh huh. And I think yeah, on a Sunday. But jujitsu is the path. Jujitsu is a passion. Passion. Yeah. yeah, it's it's sick, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. I love it. <laughs> um, and then uh, Gretel, so a female jits practitioner, mm -hmm. the first one we've had on the show. Yay! So you're the, you're our you're our female representation right now. Right. Um, <laughs> Do you do any competitions? Do you compete at all? Yeah, I've done a couple. Um, I did my first one actually after about four months of training. Uh -huh. But I kind of did that to put myself outside my comfort zone more than, than the jiu-jitsu, if that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, and then I did this one last year, uh -huh. role models last year. Had quite a tough match though, because it's it is adults predominantly here. Yeah. And I'm like master two now, so I'm old. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Um, so that was pretty good, wasn't it? But Did she was a tough it? opponent. She Very went good. on to win the whole division and all the no She's just competing in Euros. And she's just competing in the Euros, yeah. Okay. And I had her first. Yeah. Um, she didn't submit me, though, so I was quite proud of that. She was the that. only one of the day that didn't get submitted by this girl. Yeah. Yeah. We took so, a lot of uh, happiness away from yeah, that, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Just shows that you're in the right, yeah. Like, the yeah. right position, right um, direction. And then I had actually got this one booked today, um, but I've got bicep tendonitis at the moment, so oh, no. I'm having to just take a little bit of a break and just let it heal up. Um, yeah, and she's driving me mad. <laughs> we're, we're together, by the way, we're not just like... Yeah. Um, yeah, she, With the injury. She just want to try and do it. Yeah, you just want to try and do it. She just wants to try and, like, we've got to just... Yeah. You yeah. can't. Got to rest You've got to have a break, like, you know. Yeah. yeah so, Listen uh, to your body. Definitely. Not yeah. all go, go, go. No, no. But yeah, like I do, I, I, love, I love the competition because... I don't like the run up because it like all sorts of things are going through your head and everything, aren't they? But I love the feeling that you get when you do that competition. Whether you win or lose, like it, you should be proud of yourself for taking part and doing it because it takes so much courage to just step on them mats. Yeah. And like getting back to what Lewis was saying, you know, you feel disappointed because you think, Well, I know all this stuff, why didn't I just implement it? But in that moment, it's a it's a big moment and it takes over. Yeah. So like just, you know, that feeling from doing it and taking part. I love that because I just think it's an achievement. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's what yeah. I like about competing. And I feel with uh, competing as well that um, you know, you you meet the person that you're competing against for the first time, like as you walk onto the yeah. mats, like yeah, sometimes, yeah. and then you're like, oh, this I don't know what intentions this person yeah. has. This yeah. this person might like if get if you get if they get the opportunity might try and snap my arm or yeah. do you know what I mean or but crush that, my neck or that's why it's it. so like, it. when people do it I respect everyone that walks on that mat because it takes bollock well obviously not <laughs> it takes bollocks <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah. like to step onto them mats like you, you you know just doing that like I always say to Lou like Lou you're very hard on yourself ain't you to, you'll be honest about that kind of yeah, like, yeah. it comes off and I'm disappointed that I'm like how can you you've You've put yourself out of your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. There's no growth in comfort. You have to get mm. out of that comfort zone. And mm. if you win or lose, you're going to grow from it. You're going to get better from it. Exactly. You're going to see, you're going to have footage of now. And then one day you'll be an old man like me and you'll look back and you'll go, that wasn't very good. But at the same time, that's what got you to this point. Yeah. Mm. You know, you have to, or you don't have to compete, but you have to put yourself out of your comfort zone. Just walking into a jujitsu gym is taking yourself out of your comfort zone. Yeah. You know what I mean? The amount of times I drove up to the gym when I was first starting and I'd sit outside and I'd look up and I'd just be like, I can't fucking do this. <laughs> we've, you know got, I mean? we've gone to training before, sat yeah. in the car park and drove off again. Have you? Yeah, both we've actually you? both yeah. got there and sat in the car park. Get a bit anxious, a bit of anxiety kicking in. I can't remember tonight, should we just go? We've literally yeah. done that before. Uh, it's not, not it is hard, you yeah. it's hard, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it, it is a hard sport, but it's probably the most rewarding yeah. thing, like, not just sport, anything that I've ever done. And, you know, you can't imagine my life without it now. I mean, I've been grappling for like 17 years now. And it's like, I just can't imagine not doing it. What it brings to your life, you just... You I know. think you're right there. And I, I always say this, and we're like big advocates in the gym for this. Like, it's not 
we don't just want people to come and train jiu-jitsu and learn jiu-jitsu. We want them to grow as a person. Yeah. You know, we want them to become a better version of themselves, to understand themselves. Mm -hmm. um, and it's like uh, Professor Neil at Canuck said once, and it'll always stick with me. Neil Simkin. Neil Simkin, this is from Canuck. Um, uh -huh. that the mats show you everything. The mats literally show you everything. Like, you can't <coughs> go on their mats. If you, if you go on their mats with a massive ego, that's just going to be highlighted massively for you to see, for everyone else to see. And that doesn't make you a bad person because jiu-jitsu is, it's tough and obviously that, that instinct kicks in because you're fighting. That's just a human instinct. You're all going to have a bit of ego because you wouldn't do it in the first place. Yeah. Um, but it's about looking at yourself and having that self-reflection and being like, well, do I really like the way that I was then? Can I be a little bit you know, easier on myself? You know, Where can I learn? And that's what we want for people. We want people to grow as people and become better versions of, of themselves. Yeah, I like that. Um, okay, so... And get good at jiu-jitsu. Yeah. <laughs> and get good at you're, you're You've got to be able to gonna, joke You're naturally going to get good at jiu-jitsu yeah. anyway, aren't you, if you're training? But... Spend enough time in France to learn to speak French, as Tony said. <laughs> We'd love to have you back on the show. Um, yep. So we're usually in a gym, yep. and we've got our little setup in the corner, yep. and uh, then we've got the mats there. So we have a little chat, and then um, we will we'll match up against some people, yep. um, and depending on who we can get on the show, and then we'll have a little role, a little competitive role. Yep. Um, so yeah, we'd love to get you guys awesome. Uh, awesome, on yeah. for a little jam. Yeah. Yeah. And anyone's really welcome good. at us, Grace yeah. Baja Rugely. Um, anyone can just drop us a message and drop in. I love rolling with everyone. When are your open maps? Do you have open um, maps? Sporadically, aren't they? Sporadically, we don't have a when set. we've got chance. Yeah, <laughs> so when we've minute. got two minutes, yeah, yeah. Um, we put them on. But it's always on a Sunday. We do do a yeah. little one on a Saturday every week, which is like we do the class at half 11, so we're half 11 till half 12. And then we do like an open mat after for like an hour. Mm -hmm. um, and I say, anyone's welcome. Classes, whatever. Just, uh, just come and try. What's the Instagram? Um, I think it's Gracie Baja Rugely. It's, yeah, it's Gracie Baja Rugely. And then the YouTube is the same, Gracie Baja Rugely. Uh -huh. We'll get the followers up if we want to get followers. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> you got you on the gram? Yeah, yeah, so it's Lou, as in L-E-W, and then two, dot, 209. Lou. L-E-W dot 209. Yeah. As in Nate Diaz. Yeah, it's in Nate Diaz. <laughs> Is it? Nate Diaz, Diaz reference. Diaz. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. All right, guys, thanks awesome. for coming to chat um, for Jits Quips. Cool. And it was a pleasure to meet all of you. Awesome. And nice uh, to you. hope to see you again. Yeah, yeah. and good luck with the podcast. Yeah, yeah good luck. Well. Really good. Really good setup as well. Really good. Thanks, guys. Awesome. Thank all you. All right, we'll cut it there. Cut. <laughs> yeah. Nice one. <laughs>
That's it. That's it. Pass it under. Left hand. That's the one. Great, great. You're using that left hand more, Louis. Onto your left hip. Come on, boy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Climb a bit higher, but it's not the weight space. We need to look low. We need to look low. Now, low now. A heavy cruise.